Okay, remember, guys, here we go. All right. Again, the objective is to get you out of here so we don't have any homework. All right. Yeah. Listen, last time. All right. The assignment for today, uh, nine point. No, nine point four. Uh oh, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. I gotta put it in. Right now, zip. I mean it. All right, right now. Let's go. Your paper. Page 673, 1 through 20, 23 through 35. All right, again, let's just get it done. It's very simple again. All right. Now, uh, today we have what is called central angle we already discussed. And then this is going to be an inscribed angle. All right. So right now we're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to demonstrate uh, inscribed. All right, first and foremost, this is the center. And we talked about this. This is called a central angle. And of course, it's central angle because the vertex is on the center of the circle. All right, is everybody with me on that? All right. Now, someone asked me a really good question. I forgot who it was, but somebody asked me a question about shouldn't it be this angle? All right. So yesterday we kind of talked about it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to connect it to here and I'm going to connect it to here. All right. Let's say this central angle was 60 degrees. All right. The new angle that I created is called an inscribed angle because the vertex is on the circle. It's on the circle. Now, if you were comparing those angles, which one would be bigger, the central or the inscribed? Does it look central. like central. the central angle is bigger? All right. That's why it was easy for me to kind of figure it out or to kind of review, or if I forgot, I could kind of see that it had to be smaller. All right. So an inscribed angle is always half of the intercepted arc. It's always half of the intercepted arc. So in this case, I said this angle right here is the measure of that arc is what? 60. Which is also the measure of the central angle. And so the inscribed angle would be what? 33. That's all there is to it. All right. This angle down here now would be 30 degrees. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to draw another one and you kind of try to tell me if this makes any sense. All right, so if I drew this <coughs> angle right here. What's that going to be? 30. Yeah, it's 30 degrees. All right, so when inscribed angles <laughs> intercept the same arc, those angles are what? Half. Well, they're half the central, or they're half the central angle, or half of the inscribed arc, but those two angles that we created are what? Equal. Equal. That is exactly correct. All right, what's well, kind of weird, uh, eventually when you go to college, you major in math, all right? You will take like math history, all right? <laughs> And they teach you fun little facts, all right? So um, before they were able to figure out, believe it or not, how to construct right angles, all right, they had figured out that this was true, all right? So in order to construct a right angle, all right, what they would do is they would create a circle, because they didn't understand the relationship between pi yet, all right? But they calculated that if they drew a circle and they were able to draw the diameter, they could create right angles. How would they create right angles? They would just put pick any point on the circle and they would draw to each 
diameter, and that would create a what? Right, right. Yes. If I drawn the if I drawn the uh, <laughs> diameter properly, you could see that's a right <laughs> angle. All right. Now, why is that a right angle? Because what's the intercepted arc? What's the intercepted arc? 180. 180. So this is what I'm talking about. If you understand, this is the intercepted arc, right? It's always half of 180. All right, and the Babylonians were the first ones that came along and said, we're just going to make up 360 degrees. All right, there is no other reason for 360 degrees other than they realized <coughs> that there were just a lot of numbers divisible by 360. That's why they chose 360. All right, kind of strange way thing, a strange way to think about that. But then later on down the road, you will get into your pre-calculus class and they will introduce you to something called radians, which is a much better effective way to measure an angle. So there's two ways, with degrees and with radians. That's why the other day when I looked on here, they were giving you an angle in radians, which I just think slipped by the publisher. What? So um, in reality, a circle could be... Yes, exactly correct. The Babylonians could have said, we're just going to make it 100 degrees. That's what if I was living back in the day, I would have said, let's just make it 100. That would make it easy. All right? But 100 isn't divisible by as many numbers as what? 360. So they just arbitrarily said, we're just going to make it 360 degrees. All right? And it's stayed to this day. All right? And then, like I said, someone later on came along and decided to measure the angles with uh, a better relationship, and it's called a radian, all right? Now again, obviously if you take this circle and we draw it any way, right, you will see, you can eyeball that kind of and say, yeah, that's kind of like a right mm -hmm. angle, all right? So inscribed angles are always half okay. of the intercepted arcs, all right? So with that in mind, all right? You can hedge your paper, 1 through 20, 23 through 35, all right? And let's zip through this as quickly as we can and be done, all right? That's the goal. No homework. Take a break, all right? Number one, correct answer is obviously what? 30. 30. All right, now you're going to write 30 degrees down. Don't get too lazy, all right? 30 degrees, all right? Now, number two, you got to be careful. 126. So you just got to be able to go, you know, to the arc or to the angle. So this was obviously 126 degrees. All right. Now we're looking for WX right here. All right. So you had to keep in mind, we know this is what right here? We know that's the diameter, right? So now, WY is going to be how much? Help me. What's the matter? It's 127. Well, WY is what? No, for two. Uh, WY is 160. Wait, never mind. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. Say it again. Yes, I think WY is 114 degrees. Mm -hmm. All right, so then you can just subtract that from, which is, I think, 66 degrees. All right, simple. Yes. Because remember, the angle is half of the arc, so the arc would be twice the angle. All right. Now, let's look at number four. All right, the diagram shows how light bends... <coughs> In a raindrop to make the colors of the rainbow, if ST is 144, then R is obviously 72 degrees. Beautiful. All right. Now, this is something that's kind of hard to see. What is uh, angle, the relationship between G and H? They're equal. They're equal. And again, just to make sure you're seeing it properly, it's, sometimes it's hard to see. That's the R, correct? Mm -hmm. Does everybody understand what I say when they <coughs> intercept the same arc? If they intercept the same arc, those angles have to be what? They have to be congruent or they have to be equal. So here, this is just good visual, so X is equal to what? 54. All right, X is equal to 54, but that's not the question, right? 
Well, it's H, right? And H is X. So it is what? 54. So angle H is equal to 54 degrees. All right, don't be too lazy. All right, number six. Again, we can do the mental math. We're practicing the mental math, guys. Everyone should be practicing. All right? So you should be able to look at that and say X is equal to 12. Right? And so now we would say angle B is equal to 36 degrees. Are you comfortable with that? All right, let's continue on. Um, it's not necessary to write the proofs. All right, so number seven, we're out. All right, let's take a look at number eight. All right, be careful with number eight. Anybody want to give it a shot? What are you thinking? You're awesome. Exactly correct. How do we know that? Because we know this is a what type of angle? Right angle, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, for those guys who want to say, well, how, how are they, what are they talking about? How do, how do we know that? All right, I'll just try to give you a quick little demonstration, right? Does everybody agree that from uh, arc PR is 180 degrees, correct? Mm -hmm. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Now watch this, guys. I'm going to draw this arc this way. <laughs> All right, that's also how many degrees? 180, right? So now, do you agree this? This from here to here plus from here to here has to equal what? 180. And does everybody agree that this plus this has to equal what? 90. 90. Does everybody see kind of the relationship now? All right. All right, so with that in mind, can we do the mental math on that. Yeah, I think you're right. So X equals nine. So angle R is equal to 62, 62 degrees. Beautiful. Okay, so this should be kind of easy now. Number nine, what are we thinking about on number nine? Those angles are what? 45 degrees, do they agree? Yes, they are congruent also, all right? So that is what? 45 degrees and 45 degrees. All right. So then X would be. X is 25. Remember, you know, you guys are trying to get better. I don't want to just write the answer and just say it's 25 if you're not seeing it. All right. Anybody have any questions so far? I, I agree. I think it's simple. Right, as long as you know the relationship. All right, very simple. All right, so let's look at number 10. All right, now, surprisingly, this one was a little bit harder to understand or to recognize. But if I draw a, if I draw that, um, I'm trying to think. Um, well, I'm trying to think about if there's a good way to explain this. If I draw that, yeah, I don't, I don't know if a good way really. So let's say this. Um. Oh yeah, here's what it was. Here's what I was trying to draw. So look here, guys. So if I draw this right here that's easier to see then um this I might make this as large so here we go somebody tell me what that angle would be not 2x but what would be 360 minus um 116. Well, what, yeah, 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 but, but what I'm saying is, I think what they're trying to tell you is this right here is how much? How much is that? That's 2x, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Does everybody agree with me? That's 2x, right? Yeah. So then the arc would be what? 4x, right? Yeah, that's why you should speak up. 
so everybody can hear you. All right, 4x. This arc would be 4x. Does everybody agree with that? All right. Well, because look right here, guys. This angle right here is what I'm looking at. That's 2x. Oh, I see. Right? That angle is 2x. Agree? Oh. So the arc would be double that, which would be what? 4x, right? Now what I want you to look at here is this. So from here to here is how much? 116. 116, 116, right? So now what I want you to do is what relationship is 4x and 116? What equation could I use? 4x plus 116, 4X plus 116 is equal to 360. Now I just want to show you something. I just want to divide it by 2 just because I'm trying to show you something. If I were to divide that whole thing by 2, I would get back to 2x plus 58 is equal to what? 180. So what are we trying to tell you? All right. If you draw an inscribed quadrilateral, what's true about the opposite angles? They will always add up to what? They'll always add up to 180. All right. Is everybody with me on that? All right. So the opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are always 180 degrees. Anybody have any issues? So how does that help us? We can do it a lot quicker. All right, we can just say 2x plus 58 is equal to what? 180. We could also then talk about the y's and we would say what? 3y plus 4 equals 2y plus 16. Wrong. No. Definitely not. What? 3y plus 4 plus 2y plus 16 equals 180. You are amazing. I just said opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are always supplementary. True? It looks like they're equal. They don't have to be equal. You with me on this? Right? So the quickest way is to say 5y plus 20 equals 180. All right, come on now. And again, I, I say it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. And then we take a test on eight or nine sections. You have to remember all the rules. Now it's a little bit harder. So maybe you hear what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You've got to participate. Make sure you're seeing individually. Yes? Isn't it just a kite? So I'm not sure we can call it a kite because here's what I did. That's why at first I stuttered and I said, I don't think that's a good idea. That's why I erased it. Because this definitely, if I draw from here to here, that does not have to actually go through the center of the circle. You with me? It, it could be like moved up just a little bit. You know what I mean? So if I was drawing this just to make sure you understand what I'm saying, Right, I can make it look like it goes through uh, the center of the circle, but you can see, like even when I do that, sometimes I try to draw the diameter. Is that really the diameter? No, it's a little bit off, right? So if it's a little bit off, it's kind of hard to tell. You with me? No, no, that's right. I, I always have my All right, so look at that. Well, hello. Yeah. All right. Michael, you're up now. All right. So here we go. Hey, hey we, we, we don't care about that. We're trying to get the homework done. All right. So you're looking back. You guys should have already told me what X is. So we said here X is 61. Now I got to fix this. Because it says, what are we looking for? Angle C. Well, we didn't really, that really didn't help us. X then, did it? Well, you get C. Oh, yeah, that is C. All right, so if X is 61, then angle C was? Angle C is 122 degrees. And then we did 5Y plus 20 equals 180. So help me. So Y was 32. And so then angle D was? 80. All right. Angle D is 80. Good. Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any issues? All right. Here we go. Number 11 now. Now we're back to easy again. So again, try to write the answers. Don't write my answer. All right. So 
Somebody tell me DH. 162 degrees. DH is 162. Right? All right. Number 12, K. 46 degrees. All right. Okay, now how do I find P first? Which is? So that arc right there is 140, right? So, yep, 70 degrees. Simple, simple. Everybody good? All right, here we go. 14. So, AC, 48 degrees. Ooh, GH, what's that? Arc GH. Yeah, whoever said 140, that's a good job. Remember, if you don't know, it's time to speak up. Well, because if that's 20, this guy has to be 40, right? This, because this is a diameter, that means all that across is 180. All right? Anybody else? All right, let's knock out 16. Angle S. So you're right, this RT would be 132, right? 66. 66. Do we agree with that? Are we good? 66. <coughs> All right. What's true about R? How do I figure out um, R? What is R? It's equal to Q. R is equal to Q. So it is what? 32. 32. Beautiful. All right. So now we have to figure out what X is. So we can do the mental math on that. Come on now. Seriously. I don't see this is the problem, you guys. If you don't know, just ask me. I promise I want to slow down. All right. I, I don't want you to ask someone else. All right. I, I, I don't care. But I'm just saying if I'm going too fast, I need to know. All right. I want you to know. I want it to be as obvious to you as it is to me and everyone else. So it's not obvious, speak up. All right, and I'll make it obvious. All right, any questions? All right, let's go. Now I'm going on to S. So what's true? What's the relationship between the X's? Yes, they are equal. All right, so now we're doing our mental math because they're just so small. X is what? Six. X is six. Now I'm going back to the same thing. If you don't see X is 6, now you just say, hey, how did you do that so fast? X is 6. And now I'm looking for S, which is this guy up here, right? So that's what? 34 degrees. All right, good. All right. <coughs> Angle A. So we need to figure out what X is. So X is, it looked to me like X was 4. So angle A would be 20 degrees. All right, so again, these equations are so simple, I don't even know why they put them in there. Y equals 10. So C would be 47 degrees. All right, pretty easy with that, right? All right, so again, I'm not interested in the proofs right now. All right, so here we go, 23 through 26. All right, so what's true about the X's? They add up to 90, so I agree with that. Right now, again, a lot of times on the test, kids forget that that's the diameter. Therefore, this is 90. All right, so what does X equal? I think X is 30. Beautiful. So angle C would be what? 60. 60 degrees. Beautiful. All right. So same principle over here. 90. All right. Let's go. 9X, 108, 12. Is that right? No. Take my word for it.
Is that right? Come on. What'd you get? Come on, come on. You don't need calculators. Practice without a calculator. What does 8x equal? No, I'm looking for x. 8x equals 8x equals 102. So yeah, so I made a mistake on that one. So x was what? Yeah, 12.75. Right? All right, guys, I'm taking your word on that because it was 102 divided by 8, right? Yeah. So then 52 over 4, right? Wait, no, 51 over 4. All right, so if you left the 51 over 4, that's fine, but 12.75 is okay. So now angle C. So yeah, that's annoying. How much? 51.75. 51.75 degrees. All right, now here's where I'm saying, guys, don't don't just write 51.75 if you don't know. All right, that's why I take your handy dandy calculator out or your iPad if you don't have a calculator and plug the numbers in. All right, it's not doing any good if you're just saying, oh yeah, he's right again. All right. All right, here we go. 27 through 30. All right, now what do we say about the opposite sides of an inscribed quadrilateral? They're supplementary. So somebody tell me what angle T is. 135, is everybody happy with that? 135 degrees. Okay, so now we need some more help. What do we get for x? I got x equals what? That's what I got. x equals 25, right? But again, don't take my word. And now I'm looking for z. Are we happy with 80? All right, z is 80. I'm not happy with that. Everybody good? Everybody? Yep. All right, let's have some more fun. All right. Angle H, what's the formula? Now here's what I'm going to remind you guys. 3x plus 21 equals 180. Do I divide or do I subtract 21? No. Divide by 3. It's easier to hold the numbers if you divide by 3. So then it's just x plus what? Seven. Equals 60 minus 7. 53. You really should be practicing. People think you're crazy because you're good at mental math. All right, 53. That is not hard. All right, so big it's much easier than doing 180 minus 21 than dividing by 3. All right, what do we say the answer was? X equals 53. I was asking about X. X equals 53. We said 53, right? Yep. All right, so then we want angle H, so that's what? 106. 106. All right, let's do the mental math here. <laughs> So what is the relationship? 3y plus 9. No, no, no. Tell me. Add the y's. 7y minus 2 equals 180, right? So is that 182? Is that divisible by 7? Yeah. What is it? 26. Thank you. So y equals 26. So then multiply that by 4. Subtract 11. Did we say 93? Yeah. Anybody else get that? 93 degrees. I don't think that's that. Anybody else find that easy, right? Yeah. What? Come on. Anybody? Questions? You sure? Mm -hmm. All right. One more little bit. Here we go. Four more questions. All right. Because that is... Um, an octagon, right? Stop sign, I think, is an octagon, right? You should be able to tell me what is the relationship between M and N? What's that arc length? What's the arc length? Yeah, we could just say 45, right? Because there are eight equal arcs. So each arc is 45 degrees. Is everybody with me on that? I don't think that was hard. 
All right. Now it says stop sign is in the shape of a regular octagon. It's inscribed in a circle. So NQ. NQ would be, tell me again. 135. I'm happy. 135 degrees. All right. Now I have to find, well, that's pretty obvious. RLQ. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> wait. R. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. R, L, Q. What do we got? Half of what? Yeah, half of 45. Some of you guys are killing me. Yes, that's what we said. 22.5 degrees. 22.5. Is everybody happy with that? Oh. Okay, so now let's see if we can find L, R, Q. So from L, now I'm looking at this guy right here, right? So now, to me, that's everything but 135, correct? So that's what? 200. No, no, wait a minute. I don't think so. So from here, hold on. Let me make sure. You're hearing me from here to here. I need that. Oh, yeah. 225. To what? 225. 225 degrees, right? So then it's what? So what's that angle? 112.5. Wow. 112.5 degrees. Anybody else agree? Yeah, so now my question to you is this. I'm going to draw an arc up here just to make sure you can see it. You with me? Look here. You see my arc? We knew that was 135 degrees because it has what? Three of the arcs. Each arc is 45 degrees, right? So I just did 360 <coughs> minus 135. You with me? But you could have also just counted the other arcs and said there's one, two, three, four, five arcs. So five times 45. You with me? And then you divide it by two. Oh, okay. Right? Then you divide it by two because it's inscribed angle. All right. L S R. Wait a minute. Or no. Say it again. Yay. For all you guys who knew it was 135, that's a good job. All right. Now, again, hopefully you understood what I was trying to tell you. You can't let me do the problems. You have to participate. What? If you don't know, speak up. Okay, so let's look. We are doing this angle right here. Do you agree? LSR, right? So LSR is from L. Hey, shh. This is LSR. Do you agree? So this is 45. This is 45. So that means the rest of it is 270. I thought it was three. Nope. It's only two, right? So that's why it was 90. That means the rest of it is 270. No, I don't want it. All right, good job. I'll mark you as good. Very, very simple.